Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I love Lucy's Crochet and Treasures. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tracy. I live in Alabama and I love everything to do with crocheting and yarn and all that good stuff. And I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers. Uh, well, I call you all my yarny friends, but I want to thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. And I want to thank everyone who's been with me for a long time. Y'all all mean a lot to me, and I really appreciate y'all spending the time with me. Um, so, I wanted to get on. I want a giveaway. Um, Linda, just a crochet sister, she had a giveaway, and I was so surprised and so shocked when she drew my name. And uh, because she had made this gorgeous blanket. And um, so, it's this was part of her giveaway, and I can't wait to see it. And I'm sorry, Linda, it took me so long to get this this out but uh I, I keep my granddaughter and my grandpup um during the day and so and then by the time my daughter gets home to get the, you know to be with them i have to cook supper feed the cats you know blah blah all that stuff so i really hadn't had time but i've been staring at this box waiting and waiting and waiting because i can't wait to see the blanket in in person um, because it sure was gorgeous when you showed it on your channel. So I'm fixing to open this box and uh, see see what she's put in here. I don't want to cut nothing. Y'all know how I am about boxes. I better do this this way, huh? I'll be done cut myself. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. Uh, it's been hot here. I think it's like 84 degrees. When I went out to feed the cats and stuff, to give them water, um, fresh water, I was sweating. I wasn't out there no time. I'm just, I, I'm not a summer person. I like the winter time. Okay, I'm fixing to open it. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I have a little note here. Pretty. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you like it. Yes, I know you do, Linda. Love Linda, just a crochet sister. So pretty. I love that little stationery. It's a beautiful card. Thank you, Linda, so much. I don't know which one to take out first. We'll do this yarn I see first. Okay, she sent me some date night, which I like this yarn. And I might have a couple. And so now I have enough to make. I do. I have two. So now I have three. I can make something big. And it's the B-E-R-Y-L um, color. These have 273 yards. And it says it's a number four. So thank you, Linda. I love that. Oh, and I love this. Oh, my gosh. This is one of my favorite, Mandela Tweed Stripes. Got one of those. I didn't know I was going to get yarn. Oh my gosh, here's her gorgeous blanket. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, Linda, it's so soft. Oh my gosh, and it's beautiful. Look, isn't that gorgeous? I love it so much. Beautiful, you've done a beautiful job. Oh, you left me a stitch marker in there. You got a green stitch marker in there. Oh, so beautiful. I'm going to put this on the back of my recliner, and when I get cold or chilled, I can cover up with it. And Linda, I will treasure this always. Always. Linda, just a crochet sister, I'll always treasure this and remember you. Always. Ain't that gorgeous? Thank you, Linda. I love it. I love it so much. I was so excited when I won this. You done such beautiful work. Oh my gosh. I love it so much. I love the feel of it. 
Thank you, Linda. You should see something about this book, but I might not want this book. But, but yes. Oh my gosh, that's a nice book. That's a heavy book. Oh my gosh, it's got 190 stitches, 125 tutorials, and 98 techniques. This is awesome. Crochet, complete crochet course. The ultimate reference guide. I love it. I love it, Linda. This is a nice book. Ah, oh, I ain't no telling what you paid for it. Oh, I'm going to love it. I like learning new stitches and stuff. Look, and it shows you, the pictures show you how to do it. Linda, I love this book. I don't know why you didn't think I would. Oh, my gosh. It tells about all the hooks, like the inline and the tapered, all that stuff. This is very, very nice. I will love looking at this and... I'm sure I'm going to learn so many. Look, y'all. It's got the cable stitches. It's just a beautiful book. I love it so much. Tells you how to do the bow. I you know how to do that. Some of them I know, but some of them I'm not going to color work. Oh, it's just full of beautiful pictures and beautiful different stitches and Oh my gosh, I love that. That looks like Alabama colors. Red and white. I love it, Linda. I absolutely love it. Tells you the chevron stitch, how to block. I mean, all kinds of stuff. Thank you, Linda. I love it, and I'm going to enjoy looking at this. That was a nice giveaway. Thank you, Linda. I appreciate that so, so much, and I'm going to enjoy my blanket and my book. In fact, tonight when I'm watching Billy's, um, the last video that Billy's doing for the, the Gifts of Love for Sharon, um, while I'm watching this stuff, I'll, I'll snuggle up in your blanket, and I'll look at that book as I'm watching. Uh, yeah, tonight, I'm sure, pretty sure you all know that the Yarny community, and I'm sure other other people that's not even Yarny people, have been donating and uh, to Sharon's gifts of love. She had to she got a wheelchair and it had to be specially made for, her. and it costs a lot of money. And this Yarny community has pulled together, and they have raised money and auctioned money. You know, did auctions and all kinds of stuff, uh, GoFundmes and. Her wheelchair's paid for. Can y'all believe that? Uh, it's just amazing. You know, God is so good. And he He sends people our way to help us, you know, along our life's journey. And so this community has really helped Sharon along her way, you know. And uh, and it's all such a blessing from the Lord. And uh, I just think it's wonderful. Tonight she'll be drawing tickets, I think. And I, I donated a... Uh, shawl for one of them and I donated a, a necklace and some stitch markers well I have two shawls and I was debating on which one I would send to whoever wins it so I was just going to show them to y'all and uh, maybe whoever wins if they want to choose which shawl they want uh, they can choose between them because I, I love them both but this is made out of Hobie twister yarn it's a very nice lightweight summer spring and summer shawl that i made uh i think i made one like this for petra well it might have been a different stitch but it was the same yarn but this is a bag of day crochet uh, pattern and um so i have this one and it's a very very good good size shawl so i have this when i was wanting to donate but then i have this one and i made this out of some yarn i think i got from webs uh i, I think it was webs and uh but look it's the boho shawl and i thought you know somebody might like that this is the color for one but a lot of people don't like fringe so maybe whoever wins can tell me if they want the boho shawl or the bag of day shawl but ain't that pretty 
I love those colors, and it's very big, too. Very big. Very nice for the summer because it's very lacy. So maybe if whoever wins can uh, come over here and see which shawl they want. I can. I guess I could tell the winner. Billy's supposed to tell me who wins. And then I'm, I'm going to give a, a necklace and a set of stitch markers. Now, I, here's the types of necklaces I make. But I don't know which one I'll put in the giveaway. This is gray, the different color grays. And uh, this is the yellow. It makes me think of a ball of sunshine. Or if they would like a different color, they could tell me. If not, I'll just send them, you know. I don't know if it'll be one of these or if I'll send another one. But this is the types of necklaces that I make. And a set of stitch markers is going to be one. So, um, I made a, another shawl. Well, first let me get this out of the way. I made a baby blanket. Uh, was it by Bag O'Day? It might be a Bag O'Day pattern. I'll have to look. I'm not sure. It's the brick. I think they call it the brick stitch. But it's the baby blanket. And I made it out of the ice cream yarn. But I thought it come out so pretty. My husband has a friend. He's expecting a baby girl. So I may give this to them. And I made a little lovey to match it. Um, it's a little lovey to match. I put it like a shell border around it. It's a little two by baby. So cute. And it matches the blanket. So I might give this to his uh, friend. And, um, let's see. And then I just made this one. Um, I thought they were cute. And I used the pink and the green. The green is Crafter Secret. Or Crafters from Hobby Lobby. And the pink is a Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. It's very soft. And it matches the, the green spots on the hair. So I made that. And then... I made this shawl up here by Hook by Robin. She, I think she just recently put it out. I'm not real good at tassels, but I put the little tassels on them. And I used the, uh, this, I, I like this when I look at it in the ball. But I didn't realize just how much I love it until I started working with it and saw how it came out. Uh, it looks like the, the colors were more crowded on here, shorter colors but it kind of come out where it was kind of longer and I really like it and it's nice to feel of it in the cape but working with it is softer so much softer but this is the hurricane yarn it's a hundred percent acrylic from Hobie and I had two of these and they have 382 yards on them and I used one and this much more of this one and so I still have a good bit left on here and it's a lightweight three, but it says a lightweight. It might be a thicker three, but I really loved working with this, and it's Hurricane. And, it, you know, they don't tell you the color, so this is color 11, but very nice. And the ice cream yarn I used on the baby blanket is uh, was the color Cherry Jubilee, and I had three of these. I think it was three it might have been four but i think it was three they have 394 yards i believe it was three and this is what i have left after making the lovey and the blanket so and it's the ice cream yarn and it's a lightweight three y'all know i like lightweight yarn um so let me take it off of lucy and show it to you closer but yes it's very soft oh i love it and i love the way it worked up let me see which way is the front. And this pattern, you work the, the border as you're going along uh, at, at the end of each row. You, you add this these two bobble stitches. And it makes that pretty border around it. And then at the end, you come up here and do the little bobble stitches around the top. Let me see which way. 
It's hard to tell which way's the front and which one's the back. I think this is the front. Uh-oh. So, and then I put the little tassels on. She had little tassels on hers. And I'm not the greatest at tassels. But I just love that yarn. I'm going to have to get me some more of that yarn. And make something else with it. Because I love it. I got my pajama pants on. As y'all know, I always have my pajama pants on. <laughs> Let me put it back on Lucy. There you go, Lucy. You all fixed up, girl. Put your little tassels and all that stuff hanging off of you. I'll fix you up better when I get through my video. <laughs> oh, and then I made a blanket by Jada. Jada and Stitches. It's her baby blanket. But I just made it bigger because I had gotten some of this yarn for $5 a cake of the, uh, what do you call it? The Karen, let me get one, y'all. I'm sorry. I should have been, I'm never prepared. Never. And I used two, I think it was two of them. Of the Karen Skinny Cakes. They had them for $5 at Michael's. On sale. Well y'all this is $3.97. This is when I, they had them down to $3.97. Uh, wow that's a good deal. Um, but yeah, I used two of them. And this is the color. Blueberry Pudding. And I used her. It looks like it's corner to corner. But it's worked in the rows. But it's long. Very pretty. I'm thinking about gifting this to somebody. It's very soft. But ain't that pretty. And then I used the white Crafter Secret. Is that Crafter Secret? You know, from Hobby Lobby. And uh, so, Smart Craft. What is it called? That bugs me. But y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, Crafter Secret. I had it right. I'm getting some bare places up there. I got to put my yarn in it. That I got from my friend Gail. Oh my gosh, does she bless me with a huge box of uh, yarn. It's on my, my last video before this one. If y'all want to check it out, if you hadn't seen it, I was just uh, flabbergasted. I didn't know what to do when I seen that. But I think I've showed you everything. Um, I have an Etsy shop if y'all want to check it out. I, I have necklaces like I showed you on there. I have stitch markers, earrings, a few uh, scarves and hat sets, I think. Uh, I have some lovies uh, on there. Um, so if you want to, it's the I'll leave a link to my Etsy shop in the description box. It's uh, I Love Loopy Crochet all one word and uh and i'm gonna leave linda just a crochet sister she reached her 2000 and she's probably over that now here recently but i'm gonna leak her channel below which i'm sure everyone here knows linda just a crochet sister she's just an angel to so many people and uh she's just a very sweet lady so i'm gonna link her channel down below and then i made a note because i wanted to make sure that i said this okay Creatively Tracy. She is almost at 1K. And by the time I've done this video, she may have reached it. But I think you'll really like her if you don't know her. Uh, Creatively Tracy. Uh, she has a channel. And she uh, is a very nice lady. Uh, very pretty lady. Like Linda. And um, so I'll, I'll link her down below if y'all want to go check her out. And maybe subscribe if you hadn't. So she can get up to her 1K. And then she's got yarn too. Nancy. She lives in Florida. And uh, she's a very beautiful sweet lady. And uh, I just love her, her channel too. And she's almost at 1K. Um, so if y'all want to go over. she's I'm going to leave it in the description box. But it's S-H-E-Z. Got yarn to the number two. So, but I'll leave Creatively Tracy. She's got yarn too. And Linda, just a crochet sister. 
Hooks by Robin, uh, Horse Bag O'Day, and Jaden Stitches. I have to remember to put all these and then sell to RJ123. She does these, uh, she shows you how to do these little things for the loveys. Um, that's what I use, but I just did a different border around the bottoms of them. You can play with it, but she tells you basically how to do it. Uh, because you can take these off, you know, if they get dirty and stick them in the washing machine. Or if the kid wants to put them on a different lovey or whatever, um, they can. So, well, I think that's it. I hope I'm not forgetting nothing, y'all. I'm so scattered-brained. I forget a lot of stuff. Uh, but I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed weekend. If you like my video, please give me a thumbs up and leave comments. I love uh, reading everyone's comments. I get so behind on them though because I try to I try to comment on everybody's um, comments. I want them to know that I've seen them and everything which I guess I could just heart them but I just feel like you know I need to just say something so but I'm behind. I'm behind. It's just so many comments and I love it. I love it. I love reading them and I just gotten behind on them. I'm so sorry. Um, but if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. Uh, and then you can hit the notification bell on the side. And that way you'll be notified when I put up a video. I love spending time with y'all. I love sharing the, the love of crochet with y'all. I love showing you what I make and telling you about different yarns and all that good stuff. It's just, you know, it's just a blessing to me. Um, all of y'all are. Um, you, you really bless me more than you realize. So I'm going to get off of here and go in here and see. I got to be ready though. It's 7 o'clock Eastern time. I think it's when Billy, the Crafty Floridian, will be drawing the tickets for. Um, so I'll put her in the description box and she's going to do the live, I think, tonight, 7 Eastern. If you want to go over and. and um, be a part of it so i love you guys and i hope y'all have a wonderful and a very blessed weekend and uh thank you again linda so much for my happy mail uh my giveaway i love it i love it so much it, i love that book and um but i love your blanket and i will treasure it always and the yarn too i, I like the yarn too but that blanket you did an amazing job on it i'm treasure it Love you guys. Talk to you later.